Okay, so real simple. This is my um, kind of always carry um, emergency equipment for any type of remote trip. And remote doesn't have to necessarily mean like super out of the way, but basically anywhere where self-service might kind of be a little sketchy. Um, but the way that I have my PFD set up, this is a Kokatet uh, Maximus Centurion Rescue PFD. Um, this is the type five version with the rescue vest or the rescue belt. Um, which you know you don't necessarily need to have, um, but a PFD with a nice size pocket is always helpful. And this one is sold with a um, second belly pocket and haven't gotten the mud off from my last trip yet, so pardon the dirt. Um, but we've got up here starting on the outside at the top, we've got a Fox 40 P-less whistle. Uh, and this kind of sits up here. There's a little bit of a, a garage. Hard to do one hand, but I can kind of scoot that up out of the way. It's really not very obtrusive even hanging down. Really hard to do one hand, but there we go. Um, but I've never had an issue with it just hanging out either. I can reach that. I can bend my head down and reach that if I need to uh, without it being on a string. Over on this side, uh, it's a CRKT Bear Claw um, River Knife. And uh, there's a little clip on the sheath to go onto the lash tab. But I also always put a couple zip ties on it just to keep it there. Um, this holds really, really well. I've never had an issue of this coming out when it didn't need to, when I didn't want it to. Um, really super easy to use and uh, really hard to drop. Um, there's some other river knives out there that a um, little bit harder to hold. Again, the big finger hole in here makes it easy. You can grab it with either hand really easily. Um, and uh, I like just having it fit in here to pull out straight as opposed to uh, like the NRS Copilot and Pilot knives that have like the spring-loaded systems where you have to like trigger it with your fingers and grab it all at the same time. Um, I'd rather just grab it and pull. Uh, this top up here is a permanently attached pocket. Nice big zipper pocket. Um, this is where I keep my phone uh, and usually my car key, uh, my dummy key. That's really all I ever put in here. Um, if it's gonna be a long day, maybe I'll put like a um, protein bar or an energy goo to eat during that day um, up here. But uh, not really anything else. My safety gear, I leave in the belly pocket. And again, this is emergency safety gear. This isn't like my pin kit. This isn't my first aid kit. This is, oh shit, I'm separated from my boat and uh, the cat is here to help. Um, and uh, I'm in a really bad situation. So uh, and again, this little belly pocket has two zippers on it and I use the main one here to hold all of this. And in here, we've got a lighter and a plastic baggie. We've got my Garm Garmin InReach. Okay. Uh, and protein bar. So that's kind of like an overnight emergency kit, two day emergency kit, um, where if things are really bad, uh, call for help. Um, what I like about this is being having one unit that can do everything. The InReach Mini is nice because it's definitely smaller and lighter. Uh, but you have to have a phone with a battery that's good in order to actually use it for anything other than just hitting the SOS button. So with the full version of the inReach, um, I can I can text, I can communicate. And this battery, when it's not on, the battery is almost indefinite. Um, I'll you know I'll go a month or two without looking at it, turn it on, and it'll be 100% charged. Um, and when it is on, uh, it's good for about four days when it's not tracking. Um, if you're doing continuous tracking. And I haven't tested it with continuous tracking because honestly, I don't pay for that part of the subscription. Um, <laughs> I don't need to, to track where I'm at. Um, and having the actual map and everything on the device is super helpful as opposed to having to juggle the phone and the GPS. So, um, so that fits all in there, really super simple. Okay. And then if I'm winter boating or spring boating where temperatures are colder, again, it's so much harder to do with one hand. Then I can also fit pretty easily a little hand warmer or two and shove that in there. And I actually found in the bottom of this when I was getting it out, I forgot I put this in. It's a chemical safety light. Um, so this is just one of those um, little chemical glow sticks. Um, you take it out of the package, crack it open, and uh, it'll glow for like 12, 15 hours pretty easy. Um, so it's nice if you needed to. Uh, I guess you could use it for a little bit of light. I would definitely wouldn't want to walk by it. Um, 
but if let's say if you were on the river and you needed to retreat to um, shelter or something like that, you could you know leave this to indicate if anyone's coming down the river um, where your position is. So that all fits in there. And this all fits really easily. There's still a ton of room in here. And then there's also a smaller pocket on the outside that again would be great for an extra you know, bar energy goo or something. Um, so that's all in there. And none of this is even noticeable when you're paddling. Like you think it's this big pocket, but it really isn't, you know, fully packed. It's inch and a half. Um, and it sits underneath the pocket that's already here anyway. So it's not a noticeable addition and you can remove it if you want. Um, when I guide in town, um, I don't use this setup. Um, I put everything, I've got a, a Koei bag that I use. It's got more in it. Basically more of everything. It's got an extra rope. It's got a full first aid kit. It's got tow tethers. It's got a pin kit. Um, and it'll have more of everything else. And then I, I just take out my in reach if I needed it. Although I don't take that with me in town because, again, we have cell service the whole time. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward, really easy, um, really comfortable, and um, yeah, you don't have to attach anything to you to carry uh, what you might need in case of an emergency overnight or two.